more than 100 overdoses in a single week. It's being called a crisis on top of what was already an out of control heroin calamity. There was a point last week where of 20 officers out on the street, 14 were tied up with overdoses. Today, the Heroin Coalition Task Force came together asking for help. I think that the governor and the legislators in the state need to declare a public health emergency and we need to release funding immediately. It all comes as the Hamilton County Coroner's Office finds proof carfentanil is having a deadly impact. Eight confirmed dead, five others strongly suspected they too will test positive for carfentanil. And that's just the initial test. We will be going backwards and testing the other overdose um, victims' bloods and body fluids for carfentanil as we go through this. Hamilton County Coroner Dr. Samarico says the appearance of carfentanil, a drug 10,000 times more potent than heroin, is so new they just got samples to test for it, and they're still trying to determine how much is a lethal dose? This is all something we're all learning, we're dealing with, we're working with our colleagues across the state uh, and trying to get that information. A crisis that isn't going away and everyone fighting it knows it could get worse before it gets better. Now the coroner's planning to test overdose victims going back to July 1st, maybe even the 1st of June to try and determine when it began showing up here in Hamilton County. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.